Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk, and this is my unboxing of the Moto X. Um, this is made by Motorola, you might have heard of it, uh, and it's also known as the customizable phone. Uh, you can really customize anything about this phone. Everything I'll show on my Galaxy Nexus here. You can customize the front color. I mean, I took the back out, but you can customize the back color. Volume buttons you can customize. I mean, everything's pretty customizable here. Um, and it's also a good phone. Uh, it was $350 unlocked for this Cyber Monday. Uh, the Moto Maker, which is actually the feature that you can use to customize it, the website you can use to actually customize the phone, just came to all major carriers. Um, it, uh, previously, it was exclusive to AT&T. Uh, it's a pretty great phone from what I hear. The specs are not next-gen, I will have you know, but uh, it does try to outweigh that with other things, such as the customization ability. I hear it's very nice to hold in the hand. I haven't taken it out of the box, uh, so we'll see how it is here. When we unbox it, um, you might be wondering why I'm uh, unboxing this one here. The other phones I've gotten, I got, did get this from Verizon. The other phones I got from Verizon weren't necessarily... Uh, I, I, I shot unboxing videos, and, and uh, sometimes there were things tied together with like rubber bands. It wasn't indicative of the real unboxing experience. I can still post those when I get the Verizon phones if you want. I'm going to do this one regardless regardless of what condition it is, it's in. Uh, so just let me know if you want me to continue like this or not. And uh, I'll give you a spec rundown here just before I open it. Uh, it runs Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box here. Um, the weight is 4.59 ounces or 130 grams. 4.7-inch uh, display, something I really like. My uh, Droid DNA is a 5-inch display, which is good, but I really like the 4.7-inch display that the Galaxy Nexus had, so that's pretty good from there. Uh, 1280 by 720p screen, pretty cool stuff again. Uh, not the highest res, but I did say it didn't have the greatest specs ever. That's 316 ppi for you guys who care about that. Uh, AMOLED display, again, for those of you that really take that into account. Um, Scratch-resistant glass, it says here on the website. I get, I get all my uh, phone specs from Phone Arena. Just a plug for them. 10 megapixel camera, about the same as the Droid Max. Uh, LED flash, 2.4 aperture, etc., etc. The new Motorola X8 uh, processing technology, dual core, 1700 megahertz, uh, which is 1.7 gigahertz. So pretty similar specs here to the uh, Droid Max, also on Verizon. So we'll take this out here of the sleeve. Uh, I'll cover up the number here. We'll go around. Moto X branding on the front. Cool color from Motorola contrasts with the white here. Pretty cool stuff. On the top, we have the box, which I can see is taped, so not indicative of uh, the most unboxing experience that you would get when you buy the device. Moto X designed and assembled in the USA. Pretty cool. I like that it's not made in China. Good job, Motorola. Um, the components were, but it was assembled. Let's, let's just move on. Uh, says what it includes, some legal print, blah, blah, blah. 4G LTE certified, Moto X, let's unbox this here. So here we have the box. Nothing too fancy than what was on the sleeve, and let's open it up. Here is the device, the Moto X. Pretty cool if you ask me, it actually reminds me very much of my Galaxy Nexus uh, in the design elements and the form factor. Uh, but this is made by Motorola. This is made by Samsung. So pretty cool. A 4.7-inch display actually feels pretty small in the hand, especially when compared to the Beast Droid DNA right here. You can just see the way my hand holds it. I mean, it's just, it feels a lot smaller here. You, you'd be fooling me to say it's a 4.3-inch display. Uh, at first blush, it seems, uh, seems... Uh, similar to the HTC 8X that I reviewed, and that's a 4.3-inch display, so very good look here with the hold and the feel of the device. We'll go around the device here. On the top here, we just have, um, you can see why it feels so thin is because it bulges in the middle, so it can keep the edges thin. Um, but we have the headphone jack here. Looks like we might have a microphone right there, not too sure. Here we have the power button, volume up, volume down button, just uh, buttons, no grippy, you know, tactile anything, just buttons. Bottom, we have the micro USB port and a microphone around here somewhere, I would assume, since you talk into that end. I don't see it. SIM card tray on this slot. 
case this is a secondary phone and you just want to keep popping SIM cards out. Something like that. So cool. Alright, sorry for the edit out there, but I did uh, show the numbers, so I had to edit that out. Here we are, we can see by the tactile button, or not tactile, by the touchscreen buttons here that we're dealing with stock Android. I'm really impressed. The phone feels a little hefty in the hand, but it feels like a solid build quality. It really does. Uh, something that differentiates itself from the competition. Um, Droid DNA built very well. This something. There's something about this, though, that's just really nice. It says, next steps, my is a mobile, Moto Care, Motorola Migrate. If you've had a newer Droid phone, you know what those are. So here we are on the home screen. What? That is pretty cool. Set my background to my girlfriend and I. That's pretty cool. I didn't do that. I did not touch the device before this. Pretty cool stuff. You can enable all these things. Pretty cool. I love stock Android right out of the box. Google Chrome is the default browser. Just really great feel right here. We'll see what version of Android we're running and see if we can update. 4.4 KitKat. Get that going on. Boom. 4.4 KitKat. Uh, so this has just been a brief unboxing video. Awesome so far, uh, but I mean uh, the full review will definitely come. Oh, I got an email and it does have the active notifications as you can see. Awesome stuff here. Um, just really impressed, but this is, again, my initial handling. The full review will come in due time, uh, after I, you know, the honeymoon effect, I guess I would call it, wears off after I get to some solid use with this device. Thanks for watching, uh, this presentation of Eddie's Tech Talk. If you like this, please subscribe, like the video. I like positive feedback, uh, equate it to something you do. If you do something, put a lot of hard work in it. You like positive feedback as well, I'm sure. So please take time to like the video if you did indeed like it. Uh, if you disliked it, that's fine, but just please leave some con some uh, constructive criticism or leave reasons why you disliked it in the video description. Please share with your family. I'm getting really close to 50 subscribers. Really want to get there, um, and I'll do a 50 subscriber kind of special video for that. Uh, thanks. The, the channel's exploded in views, so thanks, guys, for those of you returning. Uh, check it out. Check, you're going to have to check out the website for the latest news. Uh, I put some Cyber Monday deals up there with a new contributing writer. Uh, so Eddie's Tech Talk is growing, and it's a fun time. Check it out, www.eddiestechtalk.weebly.com. And again, the YouTube channel here uh, is here for your needs as well. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Just one other thing to note here, guys, at the end of the video. Thanks so much to Verizon Wireless. Uh, for loaning me this device. It's really because of them that makes uh, Eddie's Tech Talk possible, really. I mean, I, I went on as best I could before. And you see I've already set my stuff up, uh, but I have went on as best I could before, and I would in their absence, but it is a great help to have them send me devices. It helps uh, me make better videos. It helps you guys get better video quality from me. It's just a pretty great uh, deal that I have going with them. So thanks again to Verizon Wireless for loaning me this device. Uh, they're not a sponsor if you want to see my explanation visit my channel um, or my website. Thanks very much, guys. See you in the next video.